Welcome to the Great Lakes Fishing Podcast. We're at the Greater Niagara Fishing and Outdoors Show. We're talking to lots of cool folks around the show and with us now is Damian Kuzman from Bay Rat Lures and Damian thanks for joining the show. Not a problem, good morning. I want to talk to you today about Bay Rat Lures and for people who are looking for a little bit more information on your company and what you guys are all about, tell us a little bit about your company and, and what you're about. What we're about, well basically the company was founded by myself and Scott Borstoff. Uh, we were in the need for a fishing lure for spring and uh, uh, trout and salmon fishing. Couldn't find the colors we needed, couldn't find a lure that uh, that held up. Some of the baits we were using, you'd catch two or three fish, the tail would break off, the hooks would pull out. So we were, uh, we're tool and dime makers by trade. Um, we have to uh, we have to work to fish, but it boils down to we're not uh, not lucky enough to do that. But anyway, long story short, we uh, did some engineering, did some background, figured out what kind of plastic we wanted to use, and come up with our short shallow, which is uh, we consider to be the number one uh, spring bait on Lake Ontario for trout and salmon. How do, you, how do you come up with that? How do you go from tool and die maker to we're going to build lures? Well, how do you take, you know, you, you, you combine your passion and, uh, and, your, and your love and you combine those two together and that's how Bay Rat was founded. It was, uh, I mean, the, the whole company was founded on the, the premise of trying to make a better product. Um, the guys that, that work with us um, in the shop and uh, on the outside through pro staff and so on and so forth are all fishermen, tool and die makers, and, and it's just as passionate as we are about it. And you guys, you're not building things in Asia, overseas. Tell me about your, your production facility and where your products are made. Our production facility is in Erie, Pennsylvania. We uh, injection mold, paint, decorate, assemble, package um, right at our facility. We use 100% made in the United States components. The plastic is made in, in uh, New Jersey. The paints come from uh, the south, I believe, Alabama. Um, the clear coats we use are automotive clear coats uh, made in the United States. Packaging is done in Indiana. Um, the hooks are Eagle Claw, one of the last companies that make, still makes a hook made in the United States. Um, Eagle Claw 3X Sharp, Laser Sharps. So everything from start to finish is made in the United States. So everything is made in the U.S., everything is top quality stuff. And so when, when we're talking about top quality stuff, where are you at as far as price goes? Price goes, we're probably uh, a skosh above the, you know, the, the Asian market uh, with some of the prices, but if you compare like a Mega Bass or something like that, um, we're actually d a little bit cheaper um, cheaper than that. But um, some of the things that everybody forgets about is, is quality. You're, you're paying for quality. You break one of our lures, you have an issue, there's a problem. I don't care if it's the Eagle Call hooks or there's a problem with the bait, we replace it. Yes. Just give us a call, we'll get you a new one out to you. You guys stand behind your product. Stand behind something. it, 100%. You know, I've, I've perused your Facebook page and looked you up online, and that's something that you see a lot in the reviews is these guys stand behind their product. They're proud of what they make. Yep, everybody in the shop floor is proud about it. If if we have an issue or somebody breaks something, I mean, we all sit down and talk about how this happened. You know, we try to get the bait back. Maybe there was something we did wrong. Maybe it's just, you know, a guy got a little aggressive with a set of pliers and, and broke the hook in half, you know, or broke the, broke the lure body in half. But we stand behind our products. Tell me about your product one. Product line, we start with our uh, S3, which is uh, super short shallow. That runs about three to five feet based off of our short shallow model, which is our most popular for spring trolling. Um, that runs between four and seven feet. Um, then we jump up to the short deep, which is the same body style, same actions, um, runs down to about 17 feet. So we can cover from the beach to 17 feet with uh, the same lure size, which generally we're running some, a smaller body bait. Then we step into our, our, our long series, which the long shallow, uh, again, runs four to seven feet, about a four inch bait. That goes into a long deep, which is 14 to 17 feet. Um, and then our long extra deep, which will get you down to 27 feet. Awesome. You kind of have everybody covered. What Do you have anything new out this year for 2020? Actually, we have uh, our Battle 1.5, which is a square bill. That's been out for a couple of years, but uh, people are just now finding out about it. Um, we have our MD, which is based on the same body style of our, of our uh, square bill. Um, that runs uh, nine, about 9 to 10 feet. It can be trolled down to 15 feet. A lot of our walleye guys are picking up on that. It's like a shad, uh, shad body style. Um, we have a brand new meathead this year we're working on. Um, we're here at the show, we were unveiled at the show, and mag spoons. We carry, uh, we also make spoons as well. Mm -hmm. 2.5, 3.5, and our new mag spoon. Awesome. Great Lakes trolling. And let, let's talk a little bit about colors. What do you offer for colors? It looks like there's a pretty <laughs> wide wide selection there. We get, uh, people get upset with us sometimes because we're so uh, innovative with our colors. Uh, we try to color every, every uh, 
every water spectrum that we can. Uh, I know it sounds kind of like the, the misnomer and everybody talks about, you know, um, you guys got too many colors, but you have to think about the environment you're going to be fishing as it. What's our water clarity? What are, what are we targeting? What are we trying to do? So we've got, you know, your brights, your pinks, your UV color paints. We have a flash insert. Um, right now, I believe we have over 500 SKUs um, in body baits. But again, it, it depends on your market, your color, your depth, your water, what you're trying to do. Color is, is uh, people don't think it's very important. I think it's really important if we're fishing, like Lake Erie, for example, we take uh, the, the western basin of Lake Erie. They have a dirty water situation um, where the loud colors, the, you know, the oranges and so on and so forth really stand out down that direction, the chartreuses. You come to mid, mid Lake Erie, uh, around Erie, you know, Ashtabula, those kind of areas, we're starting to get a little bit green water, so it's a different color pattern. Um, we have a whole series of colors that cover that. And when you come down here towards the Buffalo area on Lake Erie, um, I'm using walleyes for example here, mm -hmm. but but they have a, I almost call it like a crystal clear water where the more natural are reds and uh, the golds and so on and so forth really stand out. Awesome. And when you guys put these products together, I mean, it's this isn't something willy nilly. Tell us a little bit about your development and how you guys put together stuff when you're coming out with your new products? So so basically what we do is we try to find out what we're actually going to be targeting. Um, we actually utilize our software. We have a Creo, it's a, a pro engineer, engineering software. And we try to utilize, we, what action are we going for is, the, is our, fain, our first focus. Is it a wiggle wobble, you know, basically to try to give you a rough idea here. We take that, try to design the bill around the action we're looking for, the rattle, um, how much and how aggressive we're going to go with it and we simulate that actually on our softwares um, but from there we then take it to our tank and do a lot of testing and, and so on and so forth we do 3d printing um, we'll get a bait design once we get through our engineering process we'll do a 3d print um, put it in the tank put it in the water troll with it try to find out what the pros cons and and uh, go from there make some tweaks so what's the difference between putting together something for say a walleye compared to putting together something for for Chinook? Well, it, it goes into the strength. What are we trying to, what are we trying to accomplish? How, how aggressive is the strike going to be? You know, what are we looking at? A 25 pound fish versus a, you know, a two, three pound fish average. So it goes into the, the engineering and the materials, you know, the, the assembly of the body, the lure, uh, corner radiuses and such and hook size. Mm -hmm. One of the other things I hear a lot about is we buy one of your lures, I take it out of the box, it's ready to go, it's tuned. Tell us about that process in your production. When people are getting these lures, they're, they're pretty much ready to rock. Yep, right. Well, we, we try to uh, try to strive to have a lure that comes out of the package. It's no stress, no issue, no problems, you know. Um, that goes into our molding process, the quality control and molding, uh, some of the actions on, on our uh, tools. Most uh, plastic molds don't have like a side action or so on and so forth to control your location of your, your figure eight, your, your hook hook attachment points. We try and uh, um, over-engineer, if you will, the process to uh, mold those and make them repeatability, repeatability, repeatability. There you go, how's that? Um, every time. That's the most important part is part to part. We're talking Great Lakes fishing, but I'm sure your lures get used everywhere. Tell us about some of the places that you ship to and, and who's using your stuff. Well, actually, uh, we, uh, we ship quite a few to Denmark. Um, there's, a, there's an Atlantic salmon fishery in Denmark. Uh, Finland uh, is one of our, another one of our great, uh, great uh, countries we're doing a, a lot of offshore stuff with, sending them product. Um, they're using our stuff for inland for saw. Uh, it's basically a zander, which is uh, you know very sim similar to a walleye. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of zander fishing in in the Soviet Republic or Russia, uh, Finland, in that area. Um, we also sell a lot of stuff to uh, to Mexico and uh, to South America. So all over the world. All over the world, they're salt water and fresh. They're using bay rat. Yep. So what what are the most popular products that you guys have in your line? Who you know? What's the skews that that people are really capitalizing on and really using? The number one, probably our number one selling bait is the short shallow, and that's utilized for uh, a lot of guys use it for casting off their bass boat, casting uh, offshore for walleyes, for salmon, for trout. Um, that's the you know number one trolling bait up here on Lake Ontario right now for in the spring for uh, for the Browns. What's your jam, Damien? What do you enjoy? What's your your favorite type of fishing? Favorite type of fishing? Uh, taking my son. That's that's. It doesn't really matter if I'm on a, if I'm on a, um, a boat, the dock, 
the beach, the shore, the stream, uh, taking my son fishing, taking my kids fishing. That's my number one fishing. If I had to really pick something, it would probably be, uh, be Great Lakes, Great Lakes trolling. So you're going Great Lakes trolling with your son. I'm only going to let you take three lures with you. What are those going to be? Uh, I'd probably take a short shallow um, in uh, Coho Crusher. Okay. I would take uh, uh, 3.5 spoon in a goby with a hot back orange, and I would probably take Purple Wish in the LXD. I can, uh, I have caught kings one day on, on every one of those lures I just described, and one of the Lake Erie, and caught walleyes the next day on them. That same same that, colors. That Coho Crusher is one that looks to be. Uh, People are really loving that online. Tell us about that one. That was actually our first color we ever come up with. And uh, short story, uh, Good Time Charlie, uh, we were fishing on his boat, a uh, friend of ours out of uh, Olcott. It was early April, you know, frigid water. Uh, we just got done developing the bait. Um, we painted it's a hot fluorescent UV orange back with a blood red uh, UV tape on the inside. It's a clear body. So we were trolling on the, on the you know, in front of Olcott catching browns left and right on this thing. And uh, I'm thinking, geez, you know, there's gotta be coho somewhere around here. So long story short, we slow a little bit, little bit uh, east, there's a stream that dumps out and we started catching coho after coho after coho and didn't have a name for the bait yet. Mm -hmm. So it was like, we're all laughing and giggling. That thing is crushing coho. So I'm like, well, wait a minute, we need to back up. It's a coho crusher. So that's kind of how we, we name our baits. That's a that's another thing of naming baits on for lures. That's, that's a lot of fun. Whose job is that? Uh, Everybody in the shop. <laughs> Everybody in the shop. There's, you're going to see some uh, some uh, PG-13 names on our, some of our lures. Uh, there's some some uh, kids, a lot of our kids throughout the shop. Um, employees, daughters, and sons have come up with names. They like the colors and, and come up with a name. But most of them are, are from uh, tried and true captains. Um, but there is a, a large select that are named by our, our kids that are involved with us. Awesome, Damien. Is there something that I didn't ask you about that you'd like to share? Um, just the fact that uh, how much uh, we're passionate about fishing. Um, everybody in our factory loves, loves to talk about fishing. If you want to call up or you have a question on a bait, how to run a bait, what to do, where to do it, uh, don't be afraid to give us a shout. Give us a call. We love talking about fishing. Yeah, if people want to find out more about you, how do they find out? Uh, we have a Facebook page. We have an Instagram page and www.bayratlures.com. Awesome, Damien. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Not have a problem. Have a great rest of your show here in okay. Niagara. Thank you for having us. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time.